Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Library. I'm a librarian for the evening, Bruno Fightmaster. We're back with our mountain climbing adventure in Insurmountable. So last time, we uh, just barely made it to the end of the second mountain. And now, we have but one mountain yet to climb. The final mountain. On the final path. That Pulitzer is in our grasp as our uh, our little journalist goes here. I'm a little concerned. Um, but as I said, last time we uh, just barely made it to the end of Mountain 2. Um, and now we have uh, no equipment, really. Not, not really. We have some, but uh, we have a bit of a sprawling thing for us to go explore. And then, of course... Not there, but all the way up there. So we have to climb like three different peaks to get all the way up to the top. This is going to be an adventure, uh, to say the least. But, you know, we are at the bottom of the mountain here. We have our high quality boots. Um, I think we might need to get rid of this at least for now. Like, I don't mind the... Like we have a lot of things, unfortunately, dealing a whole lot of uh, whole lot of stuff to us as far as increasing. Oh wow, we still have all this too. Yikes! I think we should keep that on. Um, I think we're not going to keep it on for now, though, because we're going to be doing a bit of exploring down here first. Um, let's see. So we have two things over there, one, I guess, I don't know, some type of like, I don't exactly know what all of these are, but as far as exactly what they mean, I know that is a shrine of some sort, that all the way back there, I, I don't know, like, some type of event, uh, as far as like, maybe picking up something. We have the thing that's back there, which is talking with a person. That is just some, like, base experience event. And a couple of, uh, campsites over there. I'm not sure where we should go. Um. Hmm. I guess let's go here. Because that's going to give us our most, um, let's do this very carefully. because we know that we have bonuses as far as just doing one level at a time. So let's do that. All right, away we go. Also, go fast, because we don't necessarily need to wait around for everything here. Oh no, rough stone. We twist our ankle. Which is more energy cost than all terrain. Crap. Why? I mean, we're okay for now, I guess, but... Actually, yeah, we haven't really used any energy. This walk, which is kind of nice. I hope that that's with purpose. So what do we have here? Good ruins. Uh, yeah, we're gonna thoroughly search and see what's here. We get tea. Fantastic. Don't really need it, but fantastic. Okay. We do have a bit of climbing that we need to do with this one, so... Let me go ahead and switch our walking stick, because that is on flat terrain. And this is for a bunch of different heights, so we'll do that. Have to be a little more on top of switching those around. Okay, now we're at night, which means we get more experience, which is good. Unfortunately, it is very cold nights. And then we get hit in the torso by something. Could we, like, not? Maybe? Is there any way that we could not keep getting hit by things? 
I mean, thankfully we have a lot of stuff that gives us bonuses to, uh, um, <laughs> not getting killed. Uh, yeah, we'll do health. Um, as far as, let's see, that's one, that's one, that's one, so not really until we get over here. Okay, so, we're gonna switch back to the hiking stick. Climbing stick, rather, excuse me. Because we do have a lot of bonuses as far as, um, taking less damage through events, pretty much for that exact reason. Um, yikes. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll make it, I think. Okay, so yeah, everything's one here, and then we can go here, switch off to our pick, because we have to be that specific at this point. Because the m absolute most we can out of everything. You hear a soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You take a look around and discover a mountain hare cowering inside a rock fissure. It trembles as you approach, but it does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. Uh, yeah, I'll help it. Why not? You proffer a handful of herbs to the terrified animal, which it nibbles, nibbles eagerly. Its trembling eases, allowing you to expect its hind legs. Broken! You make a splint out of a branch and bind it to the injured leg. The hare still doesn't stand much of a chance of surviving, but it at least has more hope than it did. Oh, nice. Okay. I think we're going to do the... Odd choice. Of going back the way we came. Um... I don't, in particular, really want to get every single item that comes across, but we definitely need to start by getting as many as we can. And go there, get some free energy. So I guess there's a treasure chest. There's a little... I'm not sure it might have just been... A specific way that it was facing but I couldn't really tell what it was previously now that I can we probably need to go get those because we definitely need to get like some tents or some better equipment we need something oh, let's follow the snow and a small watering hole okay I sleep uh, but we don't really need to sleep long do we not really let's see 38.2. I think that'll give us all of our energy back. We don't need all of it, so I'll just do a little sleep. An itty bitty sleep. And now we're gonna level up. Um, reduced energy cost on snow? Sure. That sounds lovely. Okay. So here is just a bunch of level one or like one level things. Um, go here. Yeah. Well, actually, maybe this way. Yeah. And if we kind of pathfind around here. There we go. That's a nice big long path with a whole bunch of one level um, steps. No. We, spra we sprained our ankle again. Have mercy on this mountain. Oh, that's a two, but okay, whatever. We haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. Have mercy on us, Mountain, please. Here, 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 here. Here, here. Cool. And get some experience.
A flock of migratory birds flies over your head. You gawk incredulously as the animals change formation and make shapes in the heavens. Migratory birds are extremely rare at these altitudes, but the sight of them warms your heart. As the birds slowly disappear over the horizon, you think about all the mysterious and inexplicable things you've encountered during your journey. Are they the result of natural phenomena? Are they anomalies? Or could the mysterious occupiers be behind them all? You still don't understand what's happening here, but something inside you tells you you'll find what you're looking for. Hooray! Sanity! I love sanity. Okay, so... Now let's try to get over here. That, 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 that. Um, that, that. That. That, that, that. So we'll do there. And actually we're gonna modify that slightly. Because... We're gonna then actually go over here. Yeah. We're going to game the system to make sure we get more experience at night. And I guess we're now experienced enough to the point where it just doesn't cost any energy as long as we're working this properly. So I should pay a little more attention to that here for the rest of the mountain, just in case. Golden Eagle. Yes, we're going to take some sanity. Thank you, Mr. Eagle. Okay. Now we're going to go here. Is that a two-step? That's a one-step. Okay. Let's come up here and see what this little item is. Now we're going to get some rough stone. We're going to get hit in the torso again. On the rocky ledge below you, you spot a tree stump with wild herbs growing on it. Sure. Do we need it? No, but I prefer having the experience. Let's go talk to that person over there, I think. Ooh, a bear cub. At the back of the cave, you make out a bulky shape. Something enormous. Probably an animal carcass. Let's go ahead and try and see if this bear is actually nice to us. Uh, no. It does not. Great. We should stop trusting bear cubs. The bears are jerks, apparently. That's a lot of level ones. Actually, we're gonna stop because we actually wanna go over here first. So we're gonna get the experience of scavenging something. We do have our hiking stick on, right? Yes, we do, okay. Good. Come back here, grab a couple more things. Now uh, we get rough stone again, and <laughs> we again sprain our ankle. A couple of empty bottled obsidian tanks. We could take time to search the tents. I think I will. We find two bottled oxygen tanks. Yes, there we go. That's exactly what we need. 
Let's have some tea. Warm ourselves back up. Perfect. Thank you, mysterious travelers. You're kind of out of the way. We don't have a whole lot of energy costs right now, so... I think we're going to just go around. No, we're not. What would it take to get over there? Oh, we can just go down that way. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like level one thing, so on we go. And yeah, it doesn't cost the same energy, so we're good. We have made basically zero progress up the mountain. Um, but I suppose while it's at least not... Okay, thank you. Uh, that's not good. We need some things to get some health back. Hopefully some of these will do that. While we're not doing so well as far as like making progress up the mountain, we do have some... We have a lot of supplies, which is what we're really needing. Unknown fruit. You discover some wild berries on a bush. They're bright orange, almost. You hesitate. It could be poisonous. Yet a little sustenance could do you some good. I'll show one of the berries. The berries taste exotic and re-energizing. You're about to reach into the bush for more when you stop. Your stomach tells you you've had enough. Okay. It's a little bit of sanity, but we get some energy back. I love that. And some good experience. You discover an intact tent. Nobody's in sight. The embers of the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. Well, let's search the camp. A tent with an, unknown, an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it and find valuable equipment. Fantastic. They're the exact same ones that we have, so you can actually just stay there. I don't need you. Alright. So we can go through here. Um, it's time to start actually climbing, isn't it? It looks like it. I'm mildly terrified of the climb, but... It's all right. Okay. Um, is there any way? It doesn't look like it. So let's go here and reassess. Okay. Yeah. There's no way to go over that way. So that's all fine. Um. I think we want to climb up that way, though. So, we're going to back up, go down this way, and back up over here. Yeah, I think that'll be correct. Because we need to start moving through snow. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. Looks like they haven't been here there for long. You recognize the symbol on their clothing. The same one on the tent you just plundered. Whoops. Okay, then stop. 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 Stop, I said. Switch to snow boots. That doesn't give you much more, but it'll give you something. Actually, I'll give you a lot more. Okay. Now, let's back to those boots. Didn't realize this was going to be so much just management. Let's go here. I want to say there's like a shrine up here, I want to say, that we want. Okay, so now, let's switch to our pick, and let's do Master Climber. Try to get as much out of this as possible. You catch a whiff of tantalizing fragrance on the breeze. You follow your nose, which leads you to an indigenous man standing in front of a ramshackle hut. Uh, 
Um, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, he shouts at me. That's right. So, actually, wasn't great, but. Ah, crap. I'm already out of energy. Okay. Close to my body. Close your eyes and gather new strength. Darkness spreads. What if you weren't strong enough? The mountain shows no mercy. It could end you at any moment. You are afraid of dying, afraid of being forgotten. You know that you are no match for the mountain. I see you say that, but... I mean, I might not be. We're going to try to not think about that right now. I'm trying to get over here and get one of these, uh... One of those things. Uh, we're going to get energy back. Yes, excellent. Okay. Yeah, and I got to go this way. Switch to our stick. Seven. Yeesh. Well, let's use single minded, I think, so we can try to ignore as much as we can. Oh, hello? That's annoying. Nearby the camp, there are a couple of empty bottled oxygen tanks. You could take some time to search the tents. Uh, we'll do a quick. I uh, know we'll search the tents. Find one bottle of oxygen tank. All right. Well, that's something. Confirm and level up. <laughs> um, let's do that. I think. Oh, well, yeah. Let's do that. Another active ability, so we can press on a little more. I think. Uh, we're gonna go all the way over here. Get some body temperature. For the moment, we still have a fairly easy climb so far. We have been making some progress. Not a lot, but some. Okay. Uh, small town leading in the darkness. Yes, let's explore. We're gonna come across nothing. Which is fine. We want the experience. Then we're gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep for a nice long time because I want all the body temperature and all the energy I can get. Yes, I know I just basically wasted that ability, but that's okay. There's only four hours left of it, so or four hours till it comes back, so that should be fine. This has very eerie surroundings. Great. Well, you know, I think we'll live. I'm less worried about sanity. Um, yeah, let's, let's take a quick look. You find some equipment. Like what? Ooh, a warm cap. Which is good, because that... We don't particularly need this right now, so... I will take that. I'm gonna go up here. I don't want to necessarily just use that immediately, but we need to sleep again. Get some more body temperature. Not a lot, but most the energy will help. Okay. And it's also clear, so. It'll be a bit easier for us to keep going. Okay, so it's people, treasure chest, shrines, and just experience spots. Okay. So I might go around and get that. I don't think I'm going to get this one, but... You pull your hood down around your face. As you glance at the ground, you notice some tracks in the snow. Paw prints look like they belong to a bear, but as if the bear was walking on hind legs. Yes, we're going to follow him. Um... Give him a flask of tea, I think. I will eat some of the stew. Uh, that was actually kind of bad. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. We'll, we'll make it, I hope. If I'm just kind of like, whatevering the rest of this mountain, even though I know I'm kind of about to die. Ooh, fog bank. You reach an expansive plateau. A thick fog bank hangs over a depression in the rock. 
You stare into the gray mask for a while, wondering if it's concealing something. You find it odd that the fog doesn't seem to be dissipating or spreading at all. Uh, yeah, let's walk into the fog. Why not? You take one step into the fog, then another. The fog swirls around you, clouding your vision. As you advance, you hear a hiss, then a muffled hammering and rattling. Another hiss. You keep moving forward with arms outstretched. The sound gets louder and louder until it becomes deafening. Suddenly, something blows in your face. It's burning hot as if the air were on fire. You scream in pain and stumble out of the fog. You plunge, plunge headfirst into a snowdrift, cooling the aching half of your face. What on earth was that? Oh, injured head. Great. I love that. Okay. Um, I think we're going to do our single-minded again. So we can ignore terrain effects. And I guess we're going to need to have some sanity there. Because that's apparently going to tag us already. Which is not great, but... Yeah, let's go all the way around, I think. Not... Not... Let's let's get like here and then reassess. <coughs> Revenge of the Hermit. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to follow the bear. Because, yeah, I kind of remember this event. We haven't been poisoned. We're fine. Ooh, a high-quality oxygen mask. Nice. I like that. Thank you, Hermit. And now we're going to slowly go insane. Hopefully one of these other things will give us some more... Um, Should give us maybe some sanity increase here. What we really need is a health increase. That's what we need. Okay, stop, 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 stop. No, I didn't do it in time. Darn. Oh, we're hearing voices in our head. Nice. The voices in your head whisper to you, urging you to jump into the abyss. It's the only way to reach your destination. You try to ignore them, but they grow louder and more threatening. You'll die a miserable death if you don't do as they say. You slap yourself, but the voices remain. Oh, wow. That's not good. You clench your fist and punch the rocks until your knuckles bleed. The pain brings you back to reality, and the voices go silent. Oh, that's not great. That's not great in the slightest. Um, yeah, we're going to go there. Try to get this experience. And uh, hope that we're going to be okay. We were, I don't think we're going to make it. I think this might be the end of our journey here, friends. Um, so, you know, let's actually not go that way then. Let's go this way. So we can find other things that we can get. Let's put on our snow boots. And, uh, keep going. We're gonna do as best we can. The snow beneath your feet gives way. You fall, but not far. Ooh, that's not great. Oh, we don't have anything to keep us warm. We are in a bad way. Northern Lights, what a sight. Okay, well that's a plus as far as getting some extra sanity back. Um, it's there. There's not really any anything for 
just to get, so I'm gonna go all the way around, and that's not gonna be good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Maybe there was something back here, if I remember correctly. Might be able to get some body temperature. It's not really going to help too much because it's not energy that's causing us trouble. You notice you are shivering uncomfortably from the cold. Jump up and down. Manage to warm up a little. As the wind picks up for another jump, you slip and land painfully. You sprained your ankle again. Man, you. Oh, nope. That's it. I lost health. Exhausted, you collapse in the snow. You've given everything you have, but it wasn't enough. Your journey is at an end, and a new one begins. That's unfortunate. Okay. 25 days it took us. Decent amount of equipment. Good amount of skills. Oh, no, different specific type of skills. Hmm. Goodbye to our journalist. Hmm, 10,000 points, I'm not too bad. And then we start over, it looks like. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, now we know. Um, let's do the adventurer, perhaps. Um, yeah, I think the adventurer would be good. You dive down into the briny depths of the ocean and search for lost treasure, research long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforest, and unearth ancient ruins in endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough for you, and nothing ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island long concealed behind a blanket of fog a mountain range, which there is no record, and peaks that tower into the heavens just waiting to be scaled. This is the stuff of adventurer's dreams, and you get your chance to put your name to the history books. Ah, oh, we do have to... Wow, it is just all at the beginning. Alright, well... Eh. Yeah, let's do that one, I guess. You stand at the base of the mountain, looking up at the summit. You sense that adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why wouldn't it be found in the map for all these years? The room is about a group of unknown occupiers, true? And who are the people that lived here? As much as you would like to know, you must burn desires to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here, risking your life. You know, I think that's probably going to be a good place for us to stop, though. I think we have scaled our mountain here. We have, we've done our best. We might come back. We might give our adventurer here another run. Uh, we'll see. Um, I kind of like what the game is doing as far as like how we get like the different skills in that. But I'm noticing that a lot of these are fairly repetitive. And it's not really... Um, you, you kind of start to figure out which ones are good and which ones aren't. Um, so, we can probably use a bit more in the sense of, like, some random elements. I mean, it's not bad. I actually do enjoy this game. It's it's a interesting roguelike in the sense that it's... Uh, yeah, we don't... We don't want that. Actually, we probably could have taken it, but... Um, like, it's nice in the sense that you can almost play this very casually like in the sense of you know kind of as we were seeing there I was kind of half paying attention at some of these times um until the third mountain and then I was trying to squeeze out as much as I could but I think that one run was kind of doomed from the start um 
but it's it's a roguelike that's casual enough that it's like okay yeah i can just kind of pick this up a little bit don't have to think too much about it um and you know it's just kind of it's nice it's nice to just kind of play it's pretty it's calming almost almost in zen at some point um yeah thumbs up it's a cool little game it's not doing anything in particular um that's too intact i suppose or intact that's not the right word oh wow um hmm oh i was running inside the house and then a beast came about nearly killed me oh whoopsie doodle Wow, this one's going to be real nice. Um, I, I I enjoy what this game is doing. It's very different. And that's kind of what I'm looking for in a lot of games these days. I'm looking for something that is just different. Um, this is definitely scratching that itch. But, uh, yeah. We might give Insurmountable a break here for a little bit. It wasn't a very long... Uh, it wasn't a very long series for this one, but... Then again, I mean, it is just kind of, uh, I mean, it's going to be the same thing uh, each time. The little vignettes may be a little different. Maybe. But uh, we are still going to be climbing the same three peaks here, just in kind of different order. Um, yeah, you might, you might give this one a run another time, but that might be another day. Thank you so much for joining me once again here at the gaming library uh, if you like this video make sure to subscribe uh, like the video tell your friends about it that would be great uh, we can get some more people here at the gaming library uh, and yeah we will be back next time with uh, something else I'm not sure what we'll see huh. so many options so many options if there's something in particular you would like to see on the channel definitely let me know in the comments below uh, in each video, there is definitely a link to what the library already has, so as long as we have it, we will definitely play it. If we don't have it, well, we'll see. We'll see what we can find. Until next time, though, friends. This is your humble librarian, Bruno Fightmaster. Checking out. <laughs>